Hello guys, how are you? So this is the grinder. It's called Star Seeker Edge. It's quite uh, well built grinder. It has a lot of magnets. A magnet for the dial indicator, a magnet for the shoot. Of course, it's a single dosing grinder. Uh, it has also a magnet for the cap of it when you put it like that. And it comes with this nice bellow. The bellow has also an anti popcorning device. It's all made of uh, very nice rubber. Okay, so I prefer to, to add the bellow like that and then use it for bellowing after grinding. And it has a very slow RPM. The RPM is only 140 RPM. Very, very slow. The burr is 48 uh, millimeters and it has seven cores. Uh, it, everything in it is just made of metal. Even the cup is metal. It's not 58 millimeters, but it's all made of metal. There is no magnet at the cup. I wish if it had, but anyway, it doesn't move. It doesn't shake. It doesn't go out uh, while grinding. Uh, I'll try to grind some coffee and show you. Oh, before grinding the coffee, let me tell you how, how it works. So first, number one is just the starting point of it. Okay. At number one, uh, this is like the minimum you can go for. And it has many rotations from like one rotation until you reach number 10. This is uh, one millimeter, which is 1000 microns. So from one until two, that is 100 microns. So each step between the one and the two, that has five, st uh, 10 steps between ev every number and the next number, that is 10 microns. So it's very, very precise, kind of like uh, Easy Presto J Max, maybe. Uh, it's a stepless grinder. You can stop wherever you want. And it has very, very precise uh, settings. So if I want to, uh, to make a cup of espresso, uh, I usually go for 3.5, sometimes 4. And that is like 40 steps from the zero point. For, for the DF64V, I know it's a flat bird grinder, yet maximum I can reach. If I grind 20 grams, I go for 15 or something. If I go for the niche zero, uh, it is almost same 10 steps from the zero point. Uh, so for this grinder, it gives me so much range if I want to go for espresso. For filter, uh, I go beyond the first uh, rotation. So I go all the way until five or six in the next rotation. Sometimes six, uh, 6.5, which is 165 steps from the zero point to make a good filter coffee uh, cup. And that is, that's a very wide range for, for a grinder of this size to have. It's kind of like, you know, uh, I would say it's it's a it's it's a hand grinder, uh, you know. If, if if you compare it, maybe maybe it is kind of like this grinder, the Easy Presso K Plus, but a motorized version, a very sturdy version, and uh, um, a very slow uh, grinding. So if I grind it, uh, I'll give you an example. I'll weigh maybe 10 grams of coffee. I'm not gonna drink it right now, but actually, should I make a cup of espresso? Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's try to make a cup of espresso. Uh, so I will I'll grind this these beans. This is Ethiopian limo. I uh, roasted these beans uh, myself at home using my Cafe Logic Nano Seven uh, roaster. And uh, because it's an Ethiopian bean, I think I should go around four maybe. Hopefully it's not very fine. Maybe I'll make it. Uh, yeah, I'll make it four point five. That's uh, no. Let's four point three. I'm so worried that it, it will be fine after all that. So I'll weigh um, 18 grams of coffee. That's uh, that's a scale I got also from AliExpress. It's called MHW3 Bomber. And it's a very nice scale. It has many modes. So I'll use the espresso mode right now. I weigh 18 grams. And the good thing about the grinder is that really what you put, you just get out. Very minimal or actually no retention. So right now, that is 18 grams of coffee, okay? I'll just spray one spray of water, and then I'll weigh the cup, like that. The cup is almost 90 grams, so which is which is a good thing, 89.7 grams, so it's, it's good if you want to, if you forgot to tear the cup, you will still get to see, uh, I mean, get to, to know what how much coffee uh, came out in, in it, okay? So I'll turn on the grinder and I'll add the beans and let's count how much will it take to grind them. Okay. 
very fluffy, no clumping at all. tap on the bellow and that's it now let's see how much is that see first that's the grind quality very nice and fluffy grinds I hope that is the right size for these beans so and that's what you see just 18 grams exactly what you add you just get no retention at all in it if I switch right now to filter and add 18 grams to grind them filter, it will again give me the 18 grams, not 17.9 or 17.8, it will give just what you add, which is a great thing, okay? So I'll tear the, the scale like that, so it can measure my extraction by ratio. What This is a different thing about this uh, scale, that it measures by ratio, not by, uh, not by weight, like normal scales. And I'll use this Yumikut uh, WDT. It's a very nice new WDT that people are printing nowadays. And it really gives me so good results when I compare it to Duomo the 8 and the other WDTs I have. So, as you see, it's a big mountain. <laughs> but this thing can really distribute it very well. I just keep rotating until I feel fed up enough <laughs> and that's the result excellent distribution let's give it a small tap to close all the holes and here you go just very very leveled let me take down the phone to show you how leveled it is very leveled and consistent WTT every time just tamp it using the force tamper Let's see the extraction together. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's the, the right size. Because <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. Use this puck screen to make the, the puck clean. And let's see how the extraction is going to be. I'm using Lilit Mara X. I'm, I've been using this machine for three years right now and it's, it's really giving me very good results. It has very good temperature settings. I added a flow control device to it. To control the flow and uh, so far I don't need to change it let's look at the extraction together I slowly ramp it up using the flow control yeah see that was almost 43 or 44 steps from the zero point so I could grind finder if I want. And right now it goes around nine bars or eight to nine bars. Then I ramp it down slowly until I reach two, 1.2 ratio. So I got around uh, maybe 40 grams in 26 seconds, 39 grams in 27 seconds. And that is how it looks very nice and the good thing about it is that i still have very big range to go if i if i need to grind finder uh, finder i have 43 steps to go back which is very very nice so usually when i got it i didn't know that this is how i should deal with it so i used to grind around 2 or 1.5 where the machine used to choke just every time i uh, i tried it until i figured it out that i have to go very far from the zero point in order to get a good cup of espresso very good crema and very good extraction and uh, that's about it so let me grind a bit of uh, coarse grinds to show you how it looks when I grind for filter so I'll just go very coarse 1.6 yeah and then just grind few beans in my hand to show you how the grinds look when I grind for filter so I'll turn it on and then I will add the beans like that. I 
that's it so that is the filter coffee quality that I make with it to make my V60 very nice consistent grinds I think all I need now is a crew sifter to make sure how much fines I get if I compare it to the SSP multipurpose I have here or even the DF64V with a DLC uh, burr but so far I'm so happy with, with this grinder it's a very good purchase I got it for less than uh, like it was around $250 $230 was very very cheap grinder and uh, the, the result and the quality I got with it is like superb that for that price is cheaper than the hand grinder that we get from easy presser thank you for watching and I hope this was beneficial to you